today we'll be adding a lot of life and detail to your images. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Aga and I'm a CG artist. And on this channel we explore techniques and tools that will help you become a better artist. Today I will show you how to distribute the leaves along the road, but you can use this technique to distribute anything along the spline. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, so you are sure you won't miss any future tutorials. Ok, let's jump straight to 3ds Max. The scene we will be working on today is from our visualization course. If you are interested to join, I will put the link in the corner and in the description below. We will be placing leaves along this edge. I have a spline here. Ground is not connected with the carb in the viewport, because I have a displacement in the material. Let me show you how it looks rendered. To distribute the leaves, I will be using the Forest Pack plugin. If you don't have it, I put the link in the description so you can download it. They have a free limited version as well, so you can try it. Let's create a new forest object. You have to pick the surface. I will pick my street model. It's asking if we want to use camera clipping. I will click no, as it won't be heavy. Let's go to the modify section to edit it. Firstly, let's open the geometry rollout. Here, we can add objects. I will use the leaves from the library, but you can add any objects you want. Make sure you add detailed objects, it means each leaf is a separate object. Click Load Selection to import the models. Here they are. Next, let's go to the area rollout and turn off the surface area. All the leaves are gone now. To add them back, create a new spline area and pick the spline from the scene. You don't see the change yet. Let me change the thickness. And here we go. The leaves only appear up to 1 meter from the spline. Pretty straightforward. Not all the leaves are showing in the viewport. To see them all, go to display and increase the number of max items. Now we have a more accurate representation. It doesn't look good yet, there is no transition. To fix this, in the area rollout, let's go down a bit to falloff section. Enable the density falloff. Change the include value to the same value as the thickness of the spline. Now, we have soft density transition from the spline. From full density to zero. If we put a lower value there, the transition is from the edge to the distance. I will change the distribution's image to full, so you can see it more clearly. If we put a larger value than thickness, the transition is from the edge, past the spline. Most of the time, I use the same value as thickness. We can also control it using curves. I always add a Bezier point to make a transition non-linear. It is a more natural way. I will change the distribution's image back to patches. There are a couple of different options. I will use this one. We can also adjust the global density. Of 
What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Now I will show you how to exclude some areas. I will create a new spline on the entrance to the pavement. In the area rollout, add a new spline area and pick the new spline. I will adjust the thickness. This time though, I will change the type to exclude. The leaves have been removed up to 1 meter from the new line. I will lower the thickness for now. We can add the falloff here as well. To control it, we need to change the exclude value. I will go back to thickness and make it a bit larger. Now I will adjust the follow button. I like it. Let's see how it looks rendered. The leaves are not visible now because we have the material with the displacement. Let me show you how to fix this. Let's go to the effect rollout and add a new effect. Then open the effect library and choose full displayed surface effect for either V-Ray or Chroma. Load it. Add the displacement texture to the text map slot. I have it on my second screen. Nothing happened yet, because we have to set up the values. Select minimum level and click pick controller. Let's go to the object and find the surface object's name. Open Modified Object Rollout and then the Displacement Modifier Rollout. Pick the Minimum Level value. Do the same for the Maximum Level value. This way, if we change the Displacement values later on, the Forest object will automatically load them, so we don't have to change them in two places. And here we go, it's working. If you found this useful and you want to learn more techniques like this, I'd like to invite you to check out our visualization course, where we will teach you everything you need to create outstanding images like this. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye-bye!